Welcome back vapors. Vaping Cowboy here. We are uh, now on to the second part of this video. This is the rebuild portion for the Typhoon GT. Uh, just, a, just a little bit of stuff here if you've never never built coils or whatnot. Just a few things that, you, that you're going to need. You're going to need uh, some tweezers. I got ceramic tip tweezers. Um, normally these go for 50, 60 bucks or more. I got mine from Fast Tech for uh, it's like 11, 12 dollars. Really good deal. And they're fantastic. You're gonna need some sort of clippers to clip the leads. I got these for like six bucks from Fast Tech. They get really up close, right up next to the posts. So there's a uh, not much of a lead like if you're gonna use a fingernail clipper or whatnot. Uh, let's see. Um, for this build, I'm going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. I am not going to be using the one that comes in it because I got big hands and <laughs> those uh, those don't work very well for me. So I just got this little one here. It's a uh, ratcheting. You don't really absolutely need to have it. And then uh, I got Canthal wire. I'm going to be trying the 24 gauge. I got a 24 gauge, 100 feet from. Uh, uh, lightning vapes is what I did. That just came in on Thursday, I do believe. Uh, today is Sunday for this video. And then you're going to need an ohm meter to uh, read what your coils are, or coil, since this is only going to be a single coil build. Uh, let's see, uh, and then you're just going to need a power source. I'm going to be using my Stingray clone. I got that from eSiggity.com. And then you're going to need some sort of juice. Uh, right now, here in my Patriot RDA, I am using uh, Razzle Dazzle from Mount Baker Vapor. Uh, six, six Nick. It's uh, actually pretty tasty. I've had it steeping for about two weeks now. And then uh, for this build, I am going to be using the Vape Apes Jungle Sweat. This stuff is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've been I already finished one of my goji melon berries and then I finally finished off that Choco Banapple. Uh, those are, this company is just up and coming and it's absolutely great juice. Can't say any more good words about them uh, from all the products that I've tried. I've tried four of their, or five of their seven products. So, uh, and there's for sure more to come from them. So uh, we're gonna get up close here and uh, we're gonna do a little build section and then uh, We'll come out, vape on in a while, tell you what I think. Okay, as you can see that I have this, uh, I have this apart. I just have the, the deck here. There's a little bit of Dellerin stuff on the sides here, so. But uh, the inside here on the old ones, the, the older older style of these GTs is this thing used to be shoved in here to restrict the airflow. And now they come out. And I'm sure from uh, reports from people uh, not liking having to drill that out because they were in there so bad or so far in there that they actually had to drill those out just to get them out, so. Um, yeah, so that's it's a lot better than the way that it was. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take these connections loose. And then this style here, from what I could tell, is it just wraps around the, the connection wraps wraps around here the leads will and then you fasten them down then you clip them off unlike uh, my other RDA like my Patriot where it's got the holes uh, the the Trident has the slots down the middle of them which I really like those because you can get a lot more or bigger wires in there so let's get started here don't want to take too much of your time so I'm going to be using this 
this 24 gauge Cantal wire from Lightning Vapes here. This stuff is a lot, lot bigger than, than the stuff that I used from uh, from Temco. I got a 28 gauge wire from them, so we're gonna cut some of this off, and then we'll see how we see how this goes. Probably gonna cut off more than I need, so. Since it's the first time I've used this stuff. Now, normally I wouldn't cut something that big off, so. So we're gonna set that off to the side. And I'll cut this down. Alright, so we got a wire here. Now I'm going to be using. I don't have my drill bits with me, so I'm going to be using this, uh, this crocheting type thing. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but uh, it works pretty well when I don't have my drill bits around, so we're just, I'm just going to make a micro coil. I don't even know how many, how many wraps I'm going to do, so. close as possible and there's three and four and five okay so we got five wraps on this and you're gonna want to push these together because I don't torch them I put them on the on the RDA and then I fire them get them nice red and hot and then pinch them together to get the desired result I need, but uh, as you can tell, that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. that's pretty good. A lot better than the than the wire I've been using, the 28 gauge. It's a little uh, little finicky there, so I'm just gonna wrap this round. See if I can tighten this down. There we go. It's actually looking pretty decent. I'll tighten down this other one. Then you want to take your leads out. Set those off to the side. So now that's uh, it's pretty good, but I want to get that. I want to get these up a little bit more. Okay. Now there's still some gaps in here, so I'm going to squeeze those together. You don't have to use a lot of pressure, just a little bit. Try and get those snugged up as best you can before you fire them up. Okay. Now I'm going to throw this on my own meter. And I'm going to light it up. Okay, that, <laughs> that's showing one. Uh, it's not supposed to do that. Pins in too far, so I gotta loosen that up. Give me a couple turns on that. Okay, there we go. All right, it's showing 0.6 ohms. That's around uh, where I like to vape, vape on. Yeah, 0.6. Like my Patriot build, that's a dual coil setup. If you watch my other videos, I've mentioned it before. It is uh, 0 0.38, 0 0.38 ohms. I like that warm, that warm vape. And you also gotta remember that that you know the lower you go, the more the more dangers are involved. Make sure that your your equipment is can handle it, especially your batteries. 
I've never run into a problem with my uh, IMR 18650s with the 30 amps that I got from Mad Vapes. So we're going to line her up. Get her a little bit hot. And you can only do that with the with the ceramic tips. I wouldn't recommend doing doing that with the with the metals. But as you can see, it's going from the inside out. That's exactly where we want to be. Alright, so I got that that part done. I'm gonna take this off, throw this back onto on my ohm meter just to see if it changed any bit with the ohms. It went down to point, point five four, so it's getting closer to the where I like to be. But I mean, single coil, it's got was it five five wraps I believe. Yeah, five wraps. Um, I like that. So now that that's done, what we're gonna do is gonna set that down, take my crocheting instrument away. <laughs> no, I do not crochet so. And just in case you were wondering. So I gotta grab my cotton. And this is the first time that I'm doing this, so please bear with me. Let's see if I can get this right the first time. piece off I'll just try and pull this apart and it's not working so I need a scissors Set that other cotton to the side there. Now comes the fun part. And you want to tilt those up. I'm going to set that down. Position those so this cotton can come out on each side there. Cut them up pretty nice. And they say if you don't get this just right, then uh, then your tank's gonna flood. So I'm hoping first time's a charm for me. But only time's gonna tell, right? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this put this top cap back on. This top cap of the collar. Okay, looks pretty good to me. We're still at 0.54 ohms. Now I want to put this cover back on. I don't think that's going to work there. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do this again. Okay, so here's the finished product. I think my tank might flood though. 
So we'll just have to keep an eye on that. I guess I didn't check to see if this is going to be right. to make sure that that air hole yeah I think that looks a lot better all right so we got this all done I don't know exactly how to fill these so take a look at the top that looks like my best bet is to fill it from the top sure that you don't get it in the air hole. Just going by past experiences from tanks. Looks pretty good there. So I'm gonna put this back on. gargling so it's doing something right so far <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love it. All right. So I did it right. There's no gurgling. So, <laughs> so we're going to go back to normal view mode here. I'll take a couple of vapes on it. Some more vapes anyway. Man, that juice is just fantastic. Uh, if you have not tried vape apes, I highly recommend them. The goji melon berry outstanding this jungle sweat stuff is fantastic as well uh, everything I've tried of theirs is very well done they put a lot of thought into it and uh, a little backstory on them is they also are vapors and they decided they wanted to create their own juice so they got together with a very top lab and a very good top lab in uh, Wisconsin I believe it was in Milwaukee and it was just a no-brainer for for the three co-founders so All right, we'll go back to normal view. I'll take some vapes and, and then I'll tell you my thoughts. I mean, it's, it's, I'm blown away by how well this thing, this thing performs. It's a nice draw, a nice open draw like I like. It's, uh, I'm able to build my own coils to put in here. Uh, it holds quite a bit of juice. I mean, I go through probably 15 milliliters if I'm just using my, my mechanical mods and dripping. I go through about 15 mils in probably a week, maybe a week in a couple days, but um, it's way cheaper than, than smoking when I smoked because I smoked a pack a day. And back then, you know, I was from Minnesota. They finally raised the cigarette prices. They're up to six, almost seven dollars a pack now. So, but these taste way better, way better than, than smoking ever did. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have to worry at all 
with anything dripping uh, like I would with my other RDAs you know with uh, oh also another, another thing here is I don't have my lock down it's not firing this is the Stingray Stingray clone mod from uh, eSiggity.com so but uh, normally I set my lock when I set it down uh, one one time I was I was cooking supper and I set it down uh, it wasn't this mod it was my uh, my nemesis clone mod from Fast Tech and uh, I was, was talking to my fiance and then I heard something and I thought it was the hamburger I was cooking but it wasn't I went and grabbed my went and grabbed my mod to take a vape and it was scorching hot uh, it could have been a lot worse than what it was but uh, <laughs> It just goes to show that you should always set your safety, no matter how well your magnets or your springs are. Uh, always, you know, practice safety first. Uh, it could have been a lot worse than what it was, but good thing I had those really good 30 amp batteries. Because if I had anything less, it would have been could have been disastrous, for sure. So once again, this is a vaping cowboy. I actually do highly recommend this product. It's a uh, a beautiful draw if the draw is too much for you you can always add the air hole insert put that in there this uh, 20 24 gauge uh, canthal wire from lightning vapes worked out just fantastic the vape vapes uh, jungle sweat juice is fantastic uh, it's one of my all-day vapes um, I have I have quite a few now so and I still have more juices that are steeping and I'll be doing more reviews on those so we'll get out of here and just make sure they part my friends.